first thing we're going to do is saute the oxtail. So I got it set to saute. We're going to push start. 400 is good, so push it again. And it's going to preheat. And it will beep when it's ready. We got. All right, it took about seven, eight minutes. Oh boy. It's going to be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. And I salt and pepper those, and clean them, dry them. What I've learned, if you don't put a timer on the uh, sear option, it will shut off. So when you do the sear option, just put a, a timer on there of how many minutes you want or whatever. Okay, so that's here. That's we're going to cancel this. And then we're going to go to slow cooker and put it on medium. And time to temperature. Oh, time. Let me see. Oh, just an hour. Okay, here we go. I'm going to say six hours. It goes by 15 minutes or not. Okay, see. So start. Set. Six hours. Okay, now well, that's good. Alright. So let's add the onion to this. Get the juices off the bottom, which is not a whole lot, but it's okay. Alright. So use whatever you want. I've got carrots and celery in here. And I have some mushrooms to use up, so I'm going to throw them in there. Yes, that's going to be so good in that nice gravy. Okay. Okay, here's my seasonings. I've got four tablespoons of smoked paprika and one tablespoon of red pepper flakes. i got three cloves of garlic. Okay. A couple bay leaves. Two bunches of thyme. We'll pull these twigs out when it's done cooking. Alright, here comes the liquid. I've got water here, about eight cups. This is a six quart, so you can put quite a bit in here. Okay, if I need to add water, I think I will. I might just. I got a can of diced tomatoes here. They're not seasoned or anything. And I'm going to kick it up a notch, a little bit of Tabasco. That's up to you. Okay, here's the fun part. i got some chicken base here, dehydrated chicken uh, flavor bouillon. So I'm going to put a couple good tablespoons of that in there. And I've got the same, but in beef flavor. So I'm going to put some of that in there. A couple tablespoons as well. Let's say three. Okay, and I'm gonna need some more water for that because I'm gonna add some lima beans to this. That should be good. You just want everything covered in water. Let's just mix up. I've got two right cups back. of dried baby lima beans. Oh God. It's going to be so good. This is my my son-in-law's favorite thing right here. Oxtail stew. Okay, so I'll meet you back in six hours. It smells good already. Put the lid on there. Just let her go. And it's not, it's not that hot. It's warm. So I've, it's been sitting here for an hour cooling. And it's... Oh, delicious. Oh, it turned out beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, I did cook it for eight hours. There's some of that oxtail. The meat just falls off the bone. It's so ridiculously good. 
So you can thicken this up, excuse me, by either putting some potato flakes in there or uh, like a cornstarch slurry or something like that. But I like it to be like a soup kind of thing because I'm going to make some rice in this as well and we're going to pour this over some rice. Okay, so I did cook it for eight hours. Now, for two hours, I had it on medium, okay? And it was, it was good. And then I switched it to high because I wanted to see how hot it could get. The thing that I didn't like about my slow cooker that I had before this is when I put it on high, it would boil the crap out of it. And then it would like burn on the sides over here. This does not do that. And I'm freaking loving it. So I left it on high. So eight hours, uh, six hours on high, two hours on medium. I could have done this whole thing on high and cut it down to six hours. It did not boil, but it, it just, oh my God. Anyways, so you got that bonus going on. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to clean it and then I'll show you how we make the rice. We're going to go according to the, the book. So, okay, I'll be back. All right, time to make the rice. Just so you know. With everything, this is the first time we're using it, so you're gonna see some boo-boos and this is how we learn. Okay, so I've got um, two cups of, of rice here that I've drained and got the starch out of that. Rinsed right. off and got the starch off it. Okay, and then I've got two and a half cups of water. And in the recipe, in the, in the book, it gives you like the desired amount of rice you wanna cook for for how many people and stuff. So I'm doing this much. Push start. So you don't have to time it. You, you don't have to look at nothing. it. Nothing. When it dis when it senses that it's done cooking, it'll shut off by itself. When the water has completely run out and the rice is cooked, it's going to shut it off by itself. By itself. You don't That's have to touch the temperature or nothing. That's crazy. That's what it's telling me. That's crazy. Okay, so we'll we'll show you that. But for those of you that were paying attention, the uh, thermometer does fit in those little holes. So if you get a big a roast in there or yeah, something like that, fit in them holes. or a chicken. It doesn't have it in the manual anywhere where you could use it, but I'm No, sure. we couldn't find it. I'm but, sure um, you can. There's no reason why you can't. Anyways, this thing was so easy to clean, I, I, I felt guilty a little bit. Not that much. But anyways, we'll be back when the rice is done. We'll tell you total cooking time, which we don't need a timer, but I'll tell you how long it takes. We'll be back. And it just beat to 21 minutes, as you can see. So it's done. Let me get a bowl of uh, the soup and we'll get it plated and taste it. I'm so excited, you have no idea. Look at that. Listen to it. Perfectly cooked rice. Nothing is stuck to the bottom. Nothing stuck to the side. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. So let me go get some stew and I'll taste it for you. Just to show you the chart of the uh, rice. Long grain, medium grain, brown rice. You have to do it a little bit longer, but it's pretty cool. That rice turned out amazing. So I'm going to taste this beautiful. It smells so delicious. That rice is to die for. Not hard rice at all. I was, I was worried. Because when you do rice on the stove, it's um, two cups of water, one cup of rice. And this was less water, so I was a little afraid of that. The soup stew, the stoop, <laughs> is delicious. I wouldn't change a thing. Everything is just perfect. So I did it all in one machine, so I love it. I've got a big surprise for you. If you watch this whole video, guess what DeLonghi's doing? He's giving one of those away to one of you guys. Gotta be from Canada and the United States. That's the only place they'll ship. So if you wanna enter to win this, leave a comment and put USA or Canada at the end, wherever you're from. All right, isn't that wonderful? Thank you DeLonghi again, and thank you guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.